Hello America, my name is James Brady and I'd like to share with you my environmental justice story. Uh, but first and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge the 44th President of the United States of America, President Barack Obama. To that end, I want to share with you my personal story of what I've been able to get accomplished in the state of California over the last three years. Back in 2006, a new law went into effect in California that basically says all universal waste has to be recycled, can't be thrown in the garbage can anymore. And those categories were PCP ballast, fluorescent lamps, compact fluorescent bulbs, and dry cell batteries along with CRTs and now pharmaceuticals and sharps. Back in 2006, while the law was taking effect, I approached Yolo County about a program that they wanted to set up uh, that included six locations. And after talking with the county officials, they allowed me to go out and set up six locations where the public could take their waste back for free. Convenience, uh, and those locations were like Sears, True Value Hardware, and Ikea, and a number of other participants. But along the same time, I also approached the state of California about what they were doing with their waste. And after a little bit of prodding, six or seven months later, the state did issue a statewide contract to recycle all of uh, universal waste out of all of the state-owned properties that was managed by the Department of Real Estate. After successfully setting up the program, I was able to train all of the officials, the property managers, around the state with little or no carbon footprint. We use video conferencing. Not only did we do the training, but we also were able to set up the program successfully uh, using video conferencing in all of these locations around the state of California. But one of the things that I'm really, really proud of is the fact that after we got the program set up, we designed a new kiosk. It stands about four feet tall, and it has shipping instructions here for dry cell batteries. It says, thanks for pitching in, and it includes uh, 5,000 plastic bags to put your batteries in. Uh, since we set the program up, uh, the state has encouraged all employees to bring batteries to the workplace now. I uh, just want to show you a little bit about what the kiosk looks like. It has it comes with a prepaid container. There's a three and a half gallon pail, and as you can see, I do a very good job of recycling myself. There's about 40 pounds of batteries there, but you basically take the lid off and set the bucket in the base of the kiosk. Put the top back on when employees bring the batteries to the workplace. It's like so, pull the bag off here, put your batteries inside, and just simply drop it there, it goes down into the container. After we set this program up in 2008, because it took a little while to get everything going. Uh, but after we set it up successfully, at the end of the last quarter of 2009, we had officially recycled 6,245 pounds of dry cell batteries, over 1,500 pounds of PCP ballast, and 523,941 milligrams of mercury that was captured from the uh, fluorescent tubes and the compact fluorescent buffs. So I'm issuing a challenge to you today, America, that we should obtain a goal of 2,000 pounds, 2 million pounds of dry cell batteries during Earth Day. That's my challenge to America. I thank you for your time, and I really thank the leadership of Ms. Lisa Jackson for making this possible. Thank you very much.